Good morning. I mean, it's kind of half the middle of the night, half the morning. Time-wise, it's, I mean, you can see for yourself. And there is a reason why we're up this early. We're gonna meet somebody called Helen. Helen is, at the moment, running 400 consecutive half marathons, back to back. It's incredible, this. She's now done over a year, and today she's on half marathon 388. Um, so we're gonna go and join her. She gets up, gets it done, early doors. She's a full-time mum of three. She's got a job and uh, yeah, does this every day, which is, which is crazy. So we're gonna find out more about Helen. We're gonna find out why she does this. We're gonna get some motivation from her as well. And thankfully, you're coming with me and you didn't have to grin and bear that half past three alarm. So let's go and do this. So do I need to like do anything today? No, just like... I'm just gonna point this at you a lot and then oh that's it. We'll run. Loves, okay. Loves <laughs> so I'm not the fastest. I'm still full of cold. So well, it's coming out. I won't, hopefully, won't pass it on to you anyway. It's but right. uh, I'll go on my speed through about two hours. I think two Lovely hours fifteen. Stuff. Is that all right? Yeah. I know we've done it before, but I think the you know the one we always do like to tell yeah. Martin oh, yeah, 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 All right, then let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you ready? Yep. Let's go. Yeah. Do you, you introduce yourselves, everyone? Yeah, yeah. We've been here for half an hour, waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have the kids with you? Like, what's the main thing you've taken away from it so far? Consistency is key, and doing the hard stuff before your day begins makes a massive difference. So, getting up at four is the hardest part. But once you're up and out, you know, it's just incredible. Is it like a case of getting it done and then can get on with the rest of the day? Kind of yeah, thing? well, I work full time. Yeah. And I've got like three kids. So it's making sure it doesn't interfere with my kids and my time with them. But also, this, this is such a nice summer day. Yeah. There's nobody about, really. It's quiet, as you can see. And uh, some of them are the best. Yeah. Because you see the sunrise. I know, yeah. Every day. That's what I'm excited about today. Just looking to see if we're going to get. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get some sort of sunrise. But you blink and you miss it. It's like, yeah. it's gone. These three are bright enough ahead of us, yeah. anyway, aren't they? Yeah. When you like tell new people about it, what's their sort of reaction to the whole thing? Uh, they think it's incredible. Some people don't believe you, and other people want to run with you. Other people are really behind you. I've got kind of like fans all over the world now yeah. from running in Miami and um, doing all these different runs. People get to know about you. The Penafold Run Club and the Chester Road Runners have been really supportive. And I've got an online group of people as well from all over the country. Um, my friends called the Battle Buddies. So we all met training during COVID and everyone's training online. And um, they've been a great support as well. And then they kind of tell their friends what I'm doing and they, they start following. So it's all kind of like a domino effect, as you probably know yourself from running. It's contagious, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Well, that's the only hill, though. You've always got to come up a hill to fly. Whichever way you go. Yeah. You have that internal dialogue with yourself to I don't like, got to get up and do it today. I don't give myself the chance. Like I said, I said I want to run for four o'clock and then I'm out by sort of ten past four past four. So there's no time for failure. <laughs> and I have to go back for half past six right, right. to get the kids up to school. So I'm purposely going out low, room for error. So I can't mess up. And I just like to say, remind myself, I'm lucky to be able to do this. I, you know, it's a lovely day, a lovely planet we live on. So I never feel, oh my God, I have to run at all. It's always I get to run and I just enjoy it for what it brings. You have money penny as well. <laughs> We're getting a tour of Wrexham here. Yeah. That's kind of what it is. Yeah. Tour de Wrexham. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's try on that all the way home. Tell them to put Rex on the back. Not uh, Robin. Not Robin, right? Uh, yeah. What's it like for you three doing these then? That's amazing. Inspirational, really. Like everyone says, it's good to just get out of the way, isn't it? And they've all done one bit one, they've all done quite a few. Yeah, yeah. yeah one's got scared us off. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It must be pretty inspiring doing it with Helen as well. Oh, that's my son just thinks it's daft. Just like the bit of daftness in Helen. <laughs> just like that. I used to be really unfit, and that was down to my own personal choices, you know. Yeah. Wasn't down to anyone else. But it's so easy to say, you know, oh, my parents found me like rubbish, or you know, I mix with the wrong people, or I enjoy partying too much. So it's just changing those things and substituting them for something more healthy, isn't it? And you are kind of, you are like your habits, aren't you? Yeah. So it's just making new habits. So you've always, you kind of believe, like you've always got the opportunity to make that change. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I'll tweak that change sort of in in a few months' time or whenever I finish the streak, you know, substitute the run with something else. Make, you know, give my body a rest from this and yeah. start doing something else. Yeah. But you always have the choice. Your life is in your hands and people don't, don't think they actually have realise that. They think they're stuck in a rut, but you can get yourself out of that rut. Um, by changing the way you think, so change the way you think you can change your life, quite literally. How long's left of today, Helen? So about a mile and a half to go now. And then how many have you done then in a row? 388 <laughs> consecutive half marathons. Yeah. So only 12 to go. Less than two weeks until I get to 400. Just remind me again, Helen, why you started this. So I started for my own mental health, really. I was suffering with anxiety and depression and after the death of my ex-husband who has uh, lots of mental health issues I had my own as well and then um, I started running from mind because of it and then um, during the streak I lost my father as well which is quite difficult and um, to run finding out your, your dad's died was a really hard day for me and sort of running on the day of his funeral but it's helped keep my mindset strong and it's helped help me overcome the grief and deal with my my sort of emotions I guess that come with all of that so um I now run to inspire others and to keep my level of fitness and uh, to hopefully pass that good vibe on to other people like this lovely lot yes <laughs> there are the female on the planet is done what I've done so that feels great <laughs> Especially for somebody who felt so worthless so long, you know. Somebody that sort of dealt with feelings of inadequacy in her whole life. Then go and do something that no other female's done. Feels unreal, yeah. Just... The last leg now. Point two to go. <laughs> Good work, guys. Well done. Well done. I'm going to go back later. Perfect. Well done, mate. Hello, mate. Paper. What are you doing, Helen? So now, I'm going to go and chuck into the shop. I'm going to go and grab a lo local paper and they're going to witness my run and my watch. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back in a second. I mean, it is a video. <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys.